Hi, Acadiana. I'm Dave Baker. It's July 26th. Here are your latest headlines. Over the weekend, Acadiana seeing a string of calls over shots fired of, of shots fired over a 24 hour period on Saturday. Those including a shooting that took place at Cameron and University in Lafayette and shots were also fired during a road rage, road rage incident around Moss Street. One person has been arrested following the drive by shooting in Lafayette Saturday night. 20 year old Dan Quaylen Jolivet is facing four counts of attempted first degree murder. It happened around eight Saturday night near Cameron and University. Police say their injuries were not life threatening and the person involved has already been released from the hospital. Staying in Lafayette, a person is dead following yet another shooting, this time on the Evangeline Thruway happening Saturday just after midnight. Police say they found the victim in a vehicle in the 2100 block of the Thruway with multiple gunshot wounds. He later died at a hospital as of noon time this morning, news time this morning rather, his identity has not been released. Also into our newsroom, Opel Loose's police responding to an overnight shooting on Academy Street near Blanchard Street. Officers found one victim with a gunshot wound. That victim was transported to the hospital with a life threatening injury. No arrests have been made at this time. And a violent weekend in Acadiana seeing an officer involved shooting in Acadia Parish. The suspect killed after barricading himself in an apartment in Crowley on Sunday. Officials tell KATC the deputy is in stable condition. At this time, near, uh, neither the suspect nor the deputy who was shot is being identified. Now, KATC was there when family members of the suspect got the news. It was very emotional at the moment as dozens of people were standing around the parking lot, the apartment complex, waiting for any news. Now, it happened at the Kathy apartments in Crowley. We're told deputies were there to serve warrants on someone wanted in both Jeff Davis and Acadia parishes. We're told by Jennings police that the suspect is a 35 year old man. According to police, the suspect took his 16 year old nephew to Jennings Saturday night. The chief tells KATC they were were armed to rob somebody. The homeowner in Jennings then shot that and killed the 16 year old. His uncle left and went back to Crowley. According to the chief, they found several warrants for the suspect in a Crowley and asked Acadia Parish to serve those warrants. Earlier on Sunday, the Acadia Parish Sheriff's deputies were on scene for hours when the suspect barricaded himself inside before shooting at them. Members of the SWAT team then shot back, killing the suspect inside. We had found out that we had uh, felony warrants of our own for the suspect uh, and we were given permission to enter the residence by the owner of the residence. Uh, during this conference, during the search of the residence, uh, shots were fired at our officers who returned shots. Heat's the big issue today, 95 degrees for the high. You've got a heat index that's going to be up at about 105 to 108 through the afternoon. That's good for a heat advisory getting posted at about noon today and going until 7 o'clock. Few scattered showers and thunderstorms out there in the late afternoon, early evening. Quiet for the most part overnight tonight, not cooling down a whole lot, though. We'll get down to 77, maybe. Heat index going to stay warmer than that. Another hot day coming up for tomorrow and then back more to our average temperatures as we get to the back half of the work week.